Hello again, my name is David Watts from Lenovo Press, and I have with me today Russ Resnick. He is the Worldwide Segment Manager for One Socket and Two Socket Servers. Great hey, to be here, David. Um, so today we're going to be talking about the Think System SR630. This is our new uh, 1U rack server uh, with one or two sockets um, in the system. Um, so Russ, tell us about this system. Who's the sort of customer that would use this machine? So David, great question. This is really a server uh, which is meant for customers who have varied needs. It's highly flexible and customizable, mm -hmm. and so therefore it's great for a variety of workloads with a really dense footprint. Yep. So the sort of customer, pretty much any, any sort of workload, um, looking for a dense system in your, in your uh, rack, uh, rack environment, um, these one new systems are great for that. So Russ, let's um, look at the, the front of the system and go sure. through the components, mm -hmm. and then we'll spin around and look at the back and go from there, shall we? Sure. Yep. Okay, so the front of this system, um, this particular system has uh, 10 uh, two and a half inch hot swap drives. Um, the, we have a variety of configurations. The server we have here is the two and a half inch model, and over to our side here we have the three and a half inch model as well. So a variety of drive bay configurations. Um, as I said, this one has 10 drives, 10, two and a half. We also have eight drives available. Right, there's well. also an eight drive, and this server also supports an additional two and a half inch drives at the back um, using this. Uh, this uh, drive, drive bay enclosure, and we'll show you where that, where that goes in a, in a moment. But quite a flexible sort of choices for, for, uh, for a one new system, right? Yes, very flexible. Um, now, um, as well as the drives along the front, uh, Russ, we have a variety of uh, ports and, and uh, controls at the, over here as well. Um, the VGA port at the front is optional, right? That's correct. Yeah. So if you don't need that, you don't need to select it in, in your configuration. Um, the server has at the front two USB ports. Uh, this one is a USB 3. And this one over here is a USB 2. Now the USB 2 doubles as the interface, the USB interface to the X-Clarity controller service processor. So Russ, if you've got a, um, a mobile phone or a tablet running the X-Clarity app, then you can tether that um, with the USB cable directly to the server and to perform local systems management on that system. Yeah, and we chose a tether or a cable over wireless because we wanted to make sure that whoever was accessing the system made certain they were accessing the proper system in the rack. We want to make sure that the customer doesn't, or the servicer doesn't interfere with a, another system in the rack that potentially is in production and then inadvertently take it down. <laughs> That'd be pretty embarrassing. Yes, it would. Yeah. Okay, so now as well as those functions, um, the traditional uh, power button and, and LED uh, function there, this ID button, when you press that, it will light up blue at the front and there's a matching LED, blue LED at the back to allow you to identify the back of the server so that you know again which, which system you're servicing. Um, and you can, you can enable that, that ID button um, the, and the LED um, f remotely through XClarity Administrator too, as you want. Yes. Um, um, to allow you to perform um, local Or to send action. someone out to the floor to yeah. find the right server. Right. Um, and and, to, and to, to the, uh, next to that is the um, control, uh, LEDs for system power and, and system error and so on. Um, usual functions there. Now this server also has uh, a little pull-out label here. Um, on the production systems, this will have a, um, a sticker which includes um, information like the um, IP address and MAC address of the um, XClarity controller service processor. So you can access those remotely um, with that IP address information. All right, so that's the front of the system. Let's spin around and look at the back, shall we? That'd be great. Okay, so what we have here, um, uh, slots and, and controls and, and um, power supply. So let's go through each of those. Sure. Um, the top on the top here is we have up to three PCIe uh, slots. These are all PCIe 3.0, uh, varying various uh, lane widths depending mm -hmm. on the configuration yes. you want to have. Um, as we mentioned at the beginning, you can replace two of those with this um, uh, drive, drive cage code. assembly. Right. right yes. Yeah. Mm -hmm. so, so you can have two additional um, hot swap two and a half inch drives, for a total of 12 um, in, 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 this, system, in this, in this right. configuration, mm -hmm. yeah. Um, in addition to the one, one slot there. Um, now below that, uh, we have the, the LOM, Russ. Would yes, that's the LAN that? on motherboard. So we, we offer a choice of which LAN you want in your system. So you can have uh, two ports of one gig, two ports of 10 gig, four ports of one gig, or four ports of 10 gig. And that's all a choice that you can make uh, when you purchase the system. In, a, in addition to whatever PCI cards you want to use for LAN. So once again, this is very uh, flexible in your choice of networking for this system. 
Um, now, next to those, um, oh, sorry, just, uh, yeah, next to the LOM, we have a dedicated um, RJ45. This is for dedicated management. Uh, management. Yeah. And then the rear VGA port. And two, again, two USB 3 ports at the back there. And then to the side here, two power supplies. These are hot swap, redundant pair of power supplies. Um, sizes are the 550, 750, yep, um, 1100, and 1600. Right? Well, I, I think the 1600 supported on the two. Oh, yet. okay, yeah. So it's mm -hmm. up to 1100 watt. Mm -hmm. Yep. And there's a the, um, titanium option as well. Yes. 1100 watt. Mm -hmm. Yep. Okay, so those are all the, the, the components at the back. Let's open this up and have a look inside. Now, of course, this, this system is a two-socket server using the new Intel Xeon processor scalable family CPU. That's right? correct. Um, each processor supports uh, 12 DIMMs for a total of 24 DIMMs. Mm -hmm. Now, if we're using the LR DIMMs, the 64 gig LR DIMMs, for example, mm -hmm. that gives us 1.5 terabytes of memory. Total for yep. the system. That's yep. correct. Mm -hmm. So big memory footprint is, is possible on, on this system if you need it. Now, uh, let's see, the RAID adapter here, this one here is the, the RAID, um, which one is this? This is the RAID 530-8i, right? Mm -hmm. Yep, internal RAID. Now, this drives the SAS SATA bays at the front of the system. Now, as we, uh, th this server also supports any bay, back, uh, any bay bays, which is um, the Lenovo term for drive bays that support SAS or SATA or NVMe. So NVMe drives are an, another option uh, low latency, very high, high performance SSDs, and this particular server can support up to four, up to four NVMe drives. Mm -hmm. Which cable in here? Yes. To the back plane, and then here to the motherboard. So this is direct connect to the motherboard, and of course we've left the cables off for clarity, so you can see where they where yeah. they attach. So this particular configuration has a single ten drive back plane with NVMe support. There are other back plane configuration choices. With, without with and without NVMe right. as well. So if you mm -hmm. want to reduce cost, the mm -hmm. option is there too. But the NVMe is an excellent addition to, the, to all of our, our, our Think System servers. That's right? correct. Mm -hmm. yeah. uh, okay, so this one, this one is the uh, 538i. The server also supports the higher performance 930 series of adapters. Um, and those include cache and a super cap. And super cap. So that's for um, backup of the, of the cache in, in the event of a power failure. Mm -hmm. And the, the supercap super plugs into a little holder up yes. front here. So that's where the holder is for the mm -hmm. supercap, yeah. All right, now, um, let's pull out this um, this riser. This is the one U riser that has two two uh, slots on either side. So this is one of the choices that you can have yes, it is. for the system. Um, a by 16 and a by 8 on in this particular one. And you can see there's, there's a riser slot there. This also, when, once I remove the riser, shows you where the, the LOM adapter goes, mm -hmm. right? Now, next to the other riser card for the third slot here, that is the M.2 adapter. Now, M.2 is a, a drive adapter that allows you to connect, in this case, in this one here, uh, a, a single M.2 card. And these systems are, this, this device is, is good for, for your boot drives. Now, as well as the single M.2 adapter, we also offer the dual M.2 adapter. This is it here. And this one supports two M.2 cards. Yes, on side. with a uh, hardware RAID controller on that right. board. So if you, this is the one we would recommend, of course, simply because with the RAID 1, this is a redundant pair. If one of the M.2 cards fails, your system is still opera fully operational running off the other one. Yes. And the, and the sizes of the M.2 cards currently 32 gig or and 128. 128. And we have yeah. larger uh, drives in, in process. Very good. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay, so looking further towards the front of the system. Um, these are the hot swap fans. Um, on, in a in a two U system like this one, sorry, yeah, two socket, socket system, system yes. two socket system, it comes with seven uh, hot swap fans. The, by the way, the orange is an indicator that that this is a hot swap component. The other components that you can see around the board here, the blue indicates a a, a touch point for service for service when the server is off. But orange right. means hot swap. Right. And once again, there's a handle that's part of the. Uh, service feature to remove the motherboard from the system along with the other service features here. So very easy to, to service this system mm -hmm. with, with, with attachments like that. Yeah. So there you have it. That's about it, right? I think so. If you want more information, go to LenovoPress.com and you can find the product guide for this product. Yep. So there you have it. So this is the SR630, the new Think System server. Russ, thanks very much. Thank you. Hope you found the video useful and we'll see you later. Bye.